I've got an unpopular opinion. And it's an opinion that's going to be misconstrued, hated, and misunderstood. I've also got news. Stick around. I've talked with a lot of people over the years in Europe and the United States and I've learned something. This video that I'm making, um, I was inspired by Simon, the Woodlander, to make it today. <clears throat> I want to touch up on my thoughts about globalism and multiculturalism. This is a touchy subject for me because I have friends who I consider brothers and sisters of various different ethnicities and cultural backgrounds. But I want to talk about the consequences of worldwide multiculturalism in every country. Now, you guys know that I hate beliefs. Not cultures. Not peoples. Just some certain beliefs. Does that mean that I hate those people? No. Does it mean that I think they're lesser? No. I hate Christianity, but Christianity is the most predominant religion amongst people of European descent. Obviously, it's the belief that I hate and not the people. But what do I think about multiculturalism? Well, I think that multiculturalism is being pushed upon every nation of European peoples. Not any other nation in the world, just the nations of European people. And I don't think that the majority of the populations of those nations want more immigrants coming into their countries. I don't believe that at all. I think multiculturalism should exist. And I think that Americans of European descent that are angry about the United States being multicultural, I don't understand them. I don't. Because this was a nation of other peoples before we came that I'm in right now. And as soon as we set foot on the soil here, it became multicultural. It was no longer a nation of indigenous peoples. Did we make things good here? Yes. Did we do bad things here? Yes. But to be frank with you, to be truly honest with you, and I don't want you to take offense to this, but I don't have any issues in the United States increasing its immigration count. You might, and that's fine. That's okay. Especially if you're enraged with Immigrants coming over here that are nothing but scum and bad peoples, but not all of them are. My concern is with Europe. Because I live in Europe, and I'm European. What does multiculturalism do to populations? Why don't you ask the indigenous Americans? who are teetering on the edge of extinction. Those incredible people with their beautiful cultures. Why don't you ask my enigmatic ancestors, the Picts? Sure, they're still in our DNA today, but nobody remembers their language. Nobody, rem nobody even knows what they called themselves. Nobody knows what these symbols that are on stones spread across Scotland, what they mean. Disappeared. Gone. The only thing we have left of them are stones, 
burial sites, and DNA. Everything else, nearly gone. That's what multiculturalism does. 60,000 people today in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland speak Scottish Gaelic. The English language was warped and changed into what it is today because of the conquest of the Christian Normans who came over and imposed that monotheistic belief upon the Angles, the Saxons, the Gutes, and the Celts, Lithonic, Gallic people who were in the British Islands. This is what happened. But they're all European, so whatever. It's the monotheism I have an issue with in regards to that. But that's what happens. Cultures get replaced. The more and more immigration that comes in, the more detrimental that is to the preservation of our ethnicity and our individuality. I think multicultural countries should exist, but I don't think every country should be multicultural, especially regardless of what you or the politicians think, especially when the majority of the populations of those countries don't want any more immigration. So I'm encouraging you to share this video among as many people as possible if you agree with what I'm saying. I hope the politicians of Europe see this, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Sweden, all of them. Take somebody like me, an unbiased, regular, average Joe, put them in the center of any major city like London, Paris, Berlin, Frankfurt, whatever, whatever you want. Put me in the center of those cities. Better yet, put me in the center of Western Europe and share this video with everybody and tell everyone, or just, it doesn't even really necessarily have to be me. It could be anybody that agrees with me, but tell everyone, come bring in your votes. I'll have two boxes next to me. One that says stop immigration and one that says increase it. And I guarantee you, beyond the shadow of a doubt, I guarantee you that the box that says stop immigration will be full. It will overshadow the box that says continue it. I guarantee you. And you know what that's called? Democracy. What these shithead politicians preach. Democracy. The choice and the votes of the people. They are being robbed from you. Just like in my last video, how I said you're living in a dictatorship. Your votes don't matter. They don't matter. You don't get a say. So go ahead. And, and I'll be fair, too. You have my word. I will be fair. If, there, if the box that says continue immigration overshadows the one that says stop it, I'll admit it. I won't lie. I won't lie. And then the people have spoken. Continue immigration. But East Asia, South Asia, West Asia, South Africa, Central Africa... North Africa, you don't see much immigration going into those countries. Japan, that everybody in the West is obsessed with. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because they've preserved their culture. You don't see that happening in those countries. But it is in ours. So go ahead. Let's make a vote. A real vote. And if the politicians disregard that vote or ignore it, then we know what to do next. Don't. Whatever it takes.
Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, there are some of you that want me to make that Discord. I've given it some thought and I decided I'm going to do it. I can't promise that I'm always going to be in there to talk with you guys. I think it would be great to foster a relationship with uh, you subscribers, you people that actually care about what my idiot ass has to say. It means a lot to me and um, I'd love to get to know some of you. Um, but I'm not a particularly social person. I'm very selective with the people that I'm social with. And um, I guess you could say I have kind of a, uh, a, a a tank, a gas tank of how often I want to be social with people. And it ain't a big one. Okay? So I may not always be in there to talk with you in voice. But I'll definitely be there to answer questions or chat every now and then. And uh, definitely encourage you guys to create a community with me. Chat amongst each other. Um, I don't really particularly have any rules in the Discord. Free speech is based. I think that uh, too few of people advocate for it because they're cowards and pathetic. So say what you want in the Discord. Um... There's some things I'm not going to let you post if you're some demented, wretched, disgusting piece of shit. I'll kick you out really quickly and uh, w without a second thought. But if you have any thoughts that you might think are controversial or whatever, share them and I'll tell you what I think about them. You pretty much already know a lot about how I feel on certain things. But anyway, I'm making the Discord. If you want to join it, join. If you don't, don't. If you like my videos, like them. And if you don't, dislike them. And share them if you like them. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you there.